This is not the kind of chemistry that you're going to do in a garden shed or that I would, as a chemist, do it in a garden shed, in fact, not even in, in a lab. And the reason is because you really need extreme containment. These are things which are typically done in specialist facilities by people who you know, are highly trained and where you have means of totally scrubbing these materials from the air around. And so this already starts to narrow down very, very quickly, you know, who might be behind this. And, you know, you've got to have access to the right sorts of facilities in order to do it. If you think about your nervous system, it's not simply continuous wires, right? The, 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 the nerves are actually broken into, into sections. There's a gap in between called the synapse. And when the nerve signal comes down the nerve, what's called a neurotransmitter, acetylcholine, is transmitted to, it is produced and travels across that gap. And what it does is it stimulates the, the next nerve to fire. Now the key thing here is that you have to reset that mechanism. So there's, there's a very specific enzyme that goes and eliminates the, the, the neurotransmitter. So that's the enzyme that these act on. What happens is that the nervous system just fires wildly. And so you get all these bizarre symptoms of paralysis and convulsions at the same time. Uh, you know, the, it's, you look at somebody's eyes and they have a pinpoint pupil. That means that the, the patient, the victim, you know, the world goes very dark and becomes very, very blurry. Um, they also start to salivate and the lungs start to secrete, you know, a lot of liquid in the hopes of trying to counter this agent. And therefore, someone finds it unbelievably hard to breathe. Number one, you're going to be giving the patient oxygen as quickly as you can. The second thing is you have to give symptomatic relief. You've got to somehow or other calm down the nervous system, and that involves injection of, of agents like, like atropine. But the final thing is that what you want to try and do is to recover the enzyme as much as you can. You want to really restore the activity within those little gaps, the synapses. And so there are a number of, of agents which are referred to as oxymes, which are essentially kind of cunning ways to release uh, agents that, that can essentially free up the enzyme and restore it to activity. There may be a very small health risk associated with repeated contact with belongings which may have been contaminated by this substance. So we're recommending a very, very precautionary approach is taken and we're advising people to clean the clothes that they were wearing and any possessions that they had with them at the time. The fact that it took the authorities some time 
will of course in part be due to their caution and 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 them wanting to hold on to as much of the story as possible to maximize their chances of catching the perpetrator. But on the other hand, it may also reflect the fact that this is something somewhat unconventional, right? And that was perhaps chosen very specifically to act in this way and to slow down, to reduce the ability of the authorities to actually be able to deal with this and therefore maximize the impact for the victims.